What's up, Mad 25 Gamers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at our base zone beating play out of our playbook here. And this is going to be coming from the shotgun Y trips halfback, uh, halfback week out of the shotgun formation in the Indianapolis playbook. And the main play that I want to focus on from this playbook is the Z spot. Now, what we like about the Z spot is it's a pretty unique play because it has a a quarterback rollout here at the start of the ball, you're going to see the quarterback's going to roll out to the right. So we can take advantage of this in a couple of different ways. First of all, um, it's really good for pressure. Um, it's also just a really good play in general. What we want to do with this play is we want to take uh, um, Randall Cobb here. And you see how he's on a slant pattern? That's going to be able to be uh, combined with um, this next hot route to be um, cover three coverage or cover one coverage. So we're going to put Eddie Lacy on a wheel route here so that we basically have a slant flat combo on the right side of the field. And then we're going to take Jermichael Finley here. And we can do a couple of things with him, but my, ma my main thing I like to do is just send him up the seams. He's not really a read. He's more designed for a pur specific purpose. And then we're going to take our Jordy Nelson receiver here, uh, circle. We're going to put him on a uh, smoke screen. So you see, this is what the play is going to look like at the snap of the ball. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a makeshift smash concept with a couple of other reads entitled to it. Now the first read on this play is the smoke screen, no doubt about it. Against cover four, you're going to be able to hit that for five quick yards, maybe break a tackle or something, and, and turn it into something more. Okay, that's obviously the first read. Now the second read is actually going to be the slant route to Randall Cobb coming across the field. So rolling out okay we see that they're in cover three and we're going to throw it uh Randall Cobb now you can obviously you could stop the rollout if you want to you don't have to do that by just holding um I'm pretty sure all you need to do is hold L2 at the snap and you see that he's going to stop and so you see that we can easily hit the Randall Cobb route against the cover three coverage now but if you notice against cover three we're not even going to have to get to that aspect because if they're running a traditional cover three it's going to press on the Jones. So here we're going to roll out. They press. We can easily hit the smoke screen for, again, another quick four or five yards. All right. Now, some people don't like that. That's, like I, that's why I add the slant as the second read. It's going to be able to beat cover three, typically, and most cover two, uh, or excuse me, most cover, um, cover one or cover zero blitzes here. We're going to take a look at a cover zero blitz. And this is our second read here. First read not open, second read wide open, just got batted down at the line of scrimmage. Alright, so that's the basic reads here. Let's look at a cover two, and this is why we really like this play, because it really does a good job at beating cover two sink. The rollout in the smoke screen is going to hold that defender there. So you see we have room for Randall Cobb coming across the middle of the field if it's a cover two sink. Now what you can do is if you want to hit the corner route against um, a standard cover two sink, you can smart route it, smart route the, uh, the corner route, and this is just for a situation where you're in a first and ten. And you think it's coming to sink, you're going to smart route this corner route. And you're going to see you're going to roll out and just pass lead it up. And you see you're going to crush some cover two sink right there. So pretty easy, but you can't do it from the standard one just because it's not a deep enough corner route. Here I'm going to show you. I'm going to throw it blind. Just throw it blind, and you see there's two people there. So obviously not an obvious option for us in that situation. Now if they are covering the slant, um, and maybe... Uh, Situation where they're in uh, traditional cover two. If I can find one here, I think I have a nickel. I think I have a nickel one five five here. Yeah, traditional cover two. This is why I like the uh, this play because the slant's going to be covered. But now our third read, our corner route, is going to be breaking open to the outside, and we can easily hit that with a pass lead to the right. And the only situation where we're going to be able to hit Jermichael Finley is in a cover four, and we're just going to roll out and pass lead to the inside. And you see he's just going to get that space against those safeties. So that's why I like to always have a streak on the on the field. Real quick, what the running back's used for is it's, it's mainly just used as a, a route that we use. But a late read, typically what will happen is the only play that can even contain this is two men under. And we'll show you. Um, the main read against two men under is the corner route. A lot of times it's going to be open against two men under. But if they're smart, they may put a purple over there or something to try to combat it. If that happens, we're going to go to this read. Uh, Eddie, or Jacob, Jacob Lacey here. Oh, I was in a cover four on accident. Crap. Let me audible to two men under. I apologize for that, guys. Uh, but two men under. 
Okay, so we set our play up. They're running two men under. We see the corner routes covered. We come back, and you see this wheel route with a pass lead to the left is going to have a shot at beating some man coverage. So, so just keep that in mind. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. All right, the next play I want to look at is the wide trail. And we don't have to make any hot routes on this play. We're just going to go through our progressions. Our first progression is our slant route against cover four coverage. It's usually, it's going to typically actually beat a lot of coverage, just to be honest. The only thing it doesn't beat, and I'm just going to go right to it, is the cover three. And this is where our second read comes into play, which is um, Jordy Nelson's fade route. If Jones gets pressed, we're going to immediately look to Nelson. He gets pressed, we immediately look at Nelson. You see we can pass lead that to the right and get him. Uh, you can actually just pass lead it down, to be honest. But you can also pass lead to the right to get him some space. He's just going to sit in the little pocket against this cover three zone. And it's really, really good. And this is probably, the wide trail is actually one of the better plays in the game to beat max coverage. And we're going to go over that in a second. Okay, so what about a cover two situation? Typically, like I said, um, in cover two, what's going to happen is the trail route is going to come underneath. Pass lead down here and just get it to Finley. A lot of times that's going to have success. And then finally, two man under. Um, let's take a look at two man under here. And you're going to see that 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 route to Jones is going to beat two men under. Also, the trail route will beat two men under. Um, but the fade routes will not beat two men under. And then real quick, this uh, another route I wanted to look at here for you. This sluggo route to Randall Cobb. When he breaks to the inside, just pass lead it, or just bullet pass it, and it's going to work like a slant route. So just know you have that if they're in man. Now, what if they're in two men under and they're playing max coverage D? That, that's going to look like this. So they got this guy here for this route. They got this guy here for the, the trail route. We got a spy, and we're just going to re-blitz Raji here. If they're doing this, and this is what really is the power of the wide trail play, the fade route is our main read. So we look, not open, not open, not open. Wait, 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 wait. And then the fade route's just going to come back to the inside. And um, this was actually, I think, put out earlier in the year by MaddenDaily.com. So be sure to check out that website, www.MaddenDaily.com. And uh, they have some good content up there. But just um, just saying, you know, it's in the play. That's why I'm showing it. But if they are in max coverage, D, or just man, whatever, when he cuts to the inside, he's going to get inside position, which is so valuable for beating max cover. So here's a max coverage defense to the middle of the field. And you're going to see that even then, pass lead him to the inside he's going to be open he's just he's just gets it in a tender area that time he dropped it but that's unfortunate um okay so now we're going to look at the last passing play from this the halfback slip screen this is um situation where we like to do it's just something we like to use for maybe zone blitzes and all i'm going to do with this play is i'm going to take randall cobb and i'm going to put him on a smoke screen I'm going to put Jar uh, um, James Jones on a drag. I'm going to put Jermichael Finley on a zig. And I'm going to put Jordy Nelson on an out route. Smart routed out route. And the first read on this play is... Or we're also going to put Jacob Lacey on a... Or... I, think it's, I don't think it's Eddie. I think it's Eddie Lacey. I don't know who it is. Lacey here on a block and release pattern. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see... We're going to roll to the right. And we're just going to hit Lacey. Late. And we just got like 75,000 blockers over here that we can use to get upfield and, and score. Last play I want to look at is the halfback mid draw. If they're in super max coverage D, just call the draw and, and just keep your opponent off balance with the run. So thanks for watching today, guys. That is today's episode of Mad 25 Scheme of the Week offense. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.